cycle 52, high, low, one arm chest press. Make sure that you hold the ultra swing, you know, at the bottom of your palm, as much as possible, right there. Okay. Bring the arms close to your body where your elbows are lined up with the midline, right here. You're going to take a forward step. Okay. Keep your back heel up. Extend whatever arm is on the same side of the front foot. For instance, I got my left foot forward, left arm, you know, goes in front. Okay. Now here, the um, body alignment changed a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to lean to the punching side, which is my right. Okay. It's almost like I'm going to throw a, uh, an, um, underhook. Okay. So once I'm here, okay, I'm going to, Coil my hip. See, as I coil my hip, I extend my elbow. See? Like so. Okay. So my center of mass is somewhere, somewhere right there. Okay. And sometimes, you know, you wonder, well, how do you find your center of mass? Well, when I was doing all this, uh, feeling, by feeling. Sometimes you learn by feeling. Feeling, in this case, feeling your body, feeling force lines, okay? Because nobody has, you know, figured it out back then. I had to do it by myself. So, I mean, you can learn by watching, by reading, but sometimes you got to feel, okay? That's how I did it. So, again, this is your start position here. You lean towards the punching side and then perform the movement. And you know you do it right because the ultra swing is always touching, rubbing your tricep, okay? Right here. Even though it's a push movement, uh, you kind of feel some chest and whatnot, but honestly, right here at the finish stance, and you finish with your last, you know, you finish with a, you know, with a, with a coil on your hip, you're gonna feel your obliques, okay? And it just to, that is just an indication that um, this movement being rooted in fighting, okay, especially striking, it's a way of learning that when you throw punches, you know, the muscle activation is not really what you, what you see, it's what you don't see. And in this case, I mean, you're going to feel it's more on your elbow. Okay? Punching power doesn't necessarily come from your shoulder or your chest. It's coming from your the bottom, from, you know, from your legs, but it's your hips and, uh, and your trunk. You know, and your oblique is part of your trunk. 